Hello, I'm Simon Whistler. You're watching the Today I Found Our YouTube channel. And if you've ever wondered why our fingers are different lengths, well, want to know more. The human hand is remarkably different from that of other primates with shorter fingers. It's got a smaller palm, a significantly stronger thumb, and of course the most notable feature of our hands is the ability of the thumb to perfectly and comfortably oppose, come into square contact with the tips of each finger of the same hand. While we can't know with 100% certainty all the factors that led to the evolution of our hands, it would seem it all revolves around this perfect opposability, and the various advantages that provides in certain scenarios that has dictated the length of each finger. It's not entirely clear when the modern human hand appeared. Prior to a recent discovery, the consensus was about 800,000 years ago. However, after finding a third metacarpal with a styloid, a lump at the base, dating back to 1.4 million years ago, Ago, scientists are now wondering if the modern hand evolved even earlier. The hands of our ancestors millions of years ago were much like those of modern chimpanzees, whose hands, palms, and fingers are much longer and the thumbs are smaller and weaker. Evolved to accommodate knuckle walking and climbing through trees, their fingers are curved, and the tips lack the broad bones to support the highly sensitive, wide, fatty pads of human fingertips. Altogether, this provides a hand that works very well for hooking on to horizontal supports, for example tree branches, but can easily lose its grip when waving a stick and has little strength or precision when attempting to squeeze or pinch. Compared to this poor gripping, relatively awkward paw, our hands have much shorter palms and fingers. Our fingertips have strong supportive bones, on top of which are broad, sensitive, fatty pads that will accommodate uneven surfaces. Our palm also has fatty pads, some of which provide further protection for the hand and also aids in gripping. The bases of the thumb, second and third finger have all been strengthened to withstand greater stress, and in fact the thumb has three muscles attached to it which are not seen in chimpanzees. The flexor pollicis longus, flexor pollicis brevis, and the first volar interosseus. Together, these make for a significantly stronger thumb that, along with some modifications to certain joints, allows for full, comfortable opposability. Researchers have focused on several theories to explain why these changes occurred, and one of the most popular is that a better, stronger, finer grip was needed for making better tools, and thus those who had such a grip had a distinct advantage in this way, and others were selected out. Using stone tools dates back to around 3.4 million years ago, and around 1.7 million years ago more refined but still crude tools like axes and cleavers had appeared. Over the next million or so years, tools became progressively more refined while the hand evolved to its modern state. Since hand strength and dexterity are required to make and use better tools, it is thought that the advantages the latter provide led to the evolution of the former. Another similar theory holds that our hands evolved thanks to the advantages this provides in accurately throwing and clubbing things. In support of this hypothesis, scientists point to the fact that there are two main prehensile gripping actions of a human hand, one that grasps with precision and one that holds with power. The precision grip is perhaps best illustrated as the way a pitcher holds a baseball, while the power grip can be seen in the way a man holds an axe. According to adherents of this theory, without the evolved long and opposable thumb and precise control of fingertips, a primate couldn't throw with much strength or accuracy. Likewise, without the vice formed by the thumb overlapping the fingers and its new powerful flexor pollicis longus muscle and the additional fat on the palms, an axe would easily slip from the hands of a primate, as is sometimes seen with chimpanzees wielding sticks. A third, equally violent theory acknowledges both of the first as potentially contributing factors, but notes that neither explains precisely why the hand holds its present relatively stocky shape. Claiming, however, to have the key to the geometry of our hands, adherents of this theory note that the human hand only becomes a truly strong weapon when it is formed into a fist. They also identify several facts in support of this. Number one, chimpanzees cannot form a good fist. Number two, the surface area of a fist delivers a blow with greater force. And three, the way the bones are arranged when one makes a fist imparts even more force on the victim. And it is the precision with which the bones are aligned that researchers feel most bolsters their argument. When clenched in a fist, there is no space inside, and this is because of the precise lengths of the finger bones. In addition, the excellent support provided by the thumb is due to the fact that it is precisely the right length and begins at just the right place on the palm. 
So I really hope you found that video interesting. If you did, please do hit that thumbs up button below and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already for brand new videos just like this every day of the week. Also over there on the right are a couple of other videos that you might enjoy if you enjoy this one. And thank you for watching.